Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Princess Zelda from Breath of the Wild. So let's get started. To draw this awesome princess, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So I'll come right across, nice and wide, say about right here. Give myself a point and draw the same thing and connect at the bottom of a curve. So come towards the center, all right there, and then we can go back up. And there's a nice round curve for the face. Then let's come back to where we started on the edge. I'm going to go ahead and draw a big circle for her eyes. And same thing right across, about right here. And once again, close to the edge. Draw a big curve. And then let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. there. Now from there, let's go ahead and um, draw some lashes right here. Spruce it up. So about right here, just two simple lashes. One and two. And same thing over here. One, two. Just come in here and thicken it up. There. And then now for the brow. So right over the eye, I'll say about right here. I'm going to go and draw a soft curve. And I'll thicken it up. And same thing over here. And I'm not going to shade it in black because her brows are actually kind of like this blondish, yellowish color, right? So just going to give it an outline. And let's give Zelda here a sweet smile. So about right here in the center, go up and cap it off there. Okay, so then from there we can go ahead and start to draw her um, her hair. So let's come to the side right here and I'm going to draw a strand of hair that's on her side. So I'm just going to draw a curve and I'm going to come right here and connect. So same thing over here. Out and go back to where we started and connect. Then we're going to draw the ears. So we're going to pop these um, elf-like ears out right here, round off the tip, and bring it in. And then for some details, just two little curves right here. So same thing over here. So in this area, once again, round off the tip, and bring it in. And inside detail, right there. Then from there, let's, um, we can go ahead and finish the top of her hair. So I'm going to find my center. So just imagine this as an oval. So let's say about right here, just give myself a point. From there, right in the center, I'm going to come down with a curve and then connect all the way back. So same thing here. You can see this side better. So give a little curve right there for the center and connect back to where you started. And if you have any space in here, just go ahead and finish it off. There. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come up. So say about this much, and we're going to curve up. And come all the way around and in. So same thing here. And 
from there let's draw some details so just put in a straight line very lightly and then right here before i forget let's draw a little curve right here comes in and the inside so for her hair clip come right across and do the same thing so it's very quite detailed drawing but i'm going to try to simplify as much as possible and only draw what we need to right okay so then now we need to come up say about uh let's say about this much just give myself a point so i know where i'm going and from there i'm going to come back to this area and i'll draw three curves going up and then same thing over here one two three so the curves are for her braids so we kind of make give it a texture for her braids and i'm just going to go ahead and connect to the top and come right back down all the way back there okay so then now if you want to add in all these details to try to make it look like braid let's start right here in the center i'm going to lightly draw a straight line right here and i'm going to draw out a curve and a curve and then right here i'm going to add another curve to end it to cap it off right here Okay, so that's the first part. Then let's add a curve right here and here. And then now that works on this bottom part, let's go and we're gonna connect a curve, first one. Then I'm gonna come right here and draw another one. And then this part comes right in. So we're just trying to draw these intersections. So this one just comes right in like that. I know it's <laughs> hopefully I'm not making it too complicated and then right here we just want to draw these curves in here to try to make it look like she has a strand of braid another curve wrapped around her head and right here another curve and that's it I promise <laughs> for that side so let's do the same thing on this side so once again right here curve Bring this in right there and then uh, bring, let's see here, bring down a curve and then bring down a curve right here to intersect it. And then once again, same thing, just like the other side, small curve, then a bigger one that comes down and then a smaller one right here. So hopefully I didn't make that overly complicated, but if you don't want to draw any of these, you don't have to. You can just go ahead and draw these curves and just leave it empty and just color it in. <laughs> okay, from there, but I hope I helped you if you wanted to do that. From there, let's go ahead and draw the body. So right here, we're gonna give her a little neck right here. So right in the center, two slight angle lines. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect it right here and I'll draw a little curve in here real quickly for a detail and a button then from there we're going to come down for her shoulders just like usual come down for the shoulders and then let's find her armpit area so let's say about right here and here I give myself two points from there, I'm going to start to draw two angle lines coming down. From there. From there, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. Let's just bring this all the way down. She has all these um, details on her top. Okay, so before I end it, let's come back up here. And um, in this area right here, so her armpit's about right here, in this area, kind of right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle for the first detail. And then I'm going to draw a curve right through this circle. And same thing here to draw, create this band detail right here in her outfit. 
it's about right there so just remember it's kind of like right close to where her armpits are then from there I'm going to go ahead and draw another curve right underneath it and let's see let's bring this down a little bit more and same thing over here and now that we're pretty level I'm going to come right here a curve and go up then on this side let's go about right here and connect and then in between I'm going to go ahead and draw this little detail right here and there's a center curve as well and some lines <laughs> Okay, there. Then on the circle, let's draw some very simplified details, kind of like drawing a triangle in here. And I'll just leave it as is because um, it gets very complicated, right? So then right here, I'm going to draw a band. So only do this if you want to draw all those details. I'm going to draw this little zigzag that goes through. And thicken it up. Okay, there. Now for the top part right here, we're going to draw this um, ornamental piece right here. I'm going to come right here where her neck is. Come down towards her armpit and stop. Come towards her armpit and stop. And then bring this down. Bring this down. And about right there, I'm going to go ahead and slightly go down more and back up. There, so we're just trying to create that shape. Then let's come back in here on this point again, come straight down, go a curve and back up. And then let's just follow those lines to create an outline. So curve, curve, and curve there and last thing we need to do is we're going to draw kind of this diamond shape right here and this kind of foot thing right here so i'm like i said i'm totally simplifying it there because it is very complicated and then right here um you can go ahead and add two curves there okay i promise that's all the details that we're going to draw now for this part. Now let's come back and um, center about right here. I'm going to draw a slight angle line. And from there, we're going to draw the legs. So let's come about right here. And I'm going to bring this down. So this leg is just going to be straight forward. This one's going to angle out a little bit, but it's about the same shape for now. Then about right there, I'm going to go ahead and connect with a little curve. Some detail that comes out on her knee area. So same thing here. Bring this out and curve. And then let's continue this straight down and getting thinner as we come down to the ankle area. And then let's flare it out for her feet. Curve in. So for some detail, let's come to the bottom. Curve. Another curve going this way. One going this way and one more right here. And then right in the center, we're going to draw this little V. Upside down V. And so on this one, let's continue this. And like I said, this one's going to be to the side. So we're going to change it up a little bit. Curve with a heel and bring this out for shoe. There. And for some details, once again, um, coming here with some sole, a curve, curve, and another curve. There. Okay. So that is pretty much it for this part. Now let's come back to the arms. Finally, I'm going to just have them simply just to her side. 
There's so much detail already, right? So let's bring this down. And we're going to have her hands in about this area right here. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to bring this down. And there's two parts to her top. So I'm going to come in here with a curve. And then there's the sleeve part that comes in. Kind of poofy. Connect. Give it a little cuff. Connect. And then the hands. I'm just going to have them in a fist. So two curves. Angle and connect just to make it simple. Add a little curve right there. And for some details, you can come in here and draw some curves. Okay, so same exact thing over here. So just a slight curve and about right there. Connect, little cuff, and once again, two curves, and connect, and a little line right there, and some detail. And that is pretty much it for that part, so then now we can finally finish her hair. So come right here, imagine this coming through, about right here, a little curve, come out. And I'm going to end her hair about right there. So draw some strands. And we'll just tuck it in to make it simple. So same thing here. So bring it down just like the other side about right there. And just tuck it in right there. And that is pretty much it for this Princess Zelda drawing. I really hope I didn't overcomplicate it and that you appreciate all the little details here. And of course, there's a lot more detail that I'm not putting in. Maybe I'll do that when I'm coloring, but hopefully that is enough to help you draw Princess Zelda here from The Legend of Zelda's Breath of the Wild. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw so cute videos. See you later.